Hello, hello, and welcome to iPhone Friday. It's Bill Skladowski here with you for another edition of iPhone Friday. Um, and here, at hottest day of the year so far in Southwest Florida, and I'm wearing like all black, which is only perfect for the day because actually it's going to, there's going to be a connection, and you'll see it soon if you hang out. Because today we're talking about how to make your iPhone easy on the eyes. Easy on the eyes when you have to look at it, especially at night or in bright light situations or things like that. So we're going to be doing how to make the iPhone easy on the eyes. There's a whole group of settings that will let you choose how you want the iPhone to look when you look at it and make it easy on the eyes. If this is your first time joining us, thank you. We appreciate it. Uh, feel free to share this with friends and uh, colleagues who might uh, get some benefit from the information here. And if you're watching on the replay, that's cool too. Uh, I do this every Friday with iPhone Friday. And then on Wednesday, we do What's New Wednesday. Um, things are changing all the time in the high-tech world with iPhones and iPads. And as new stuff happens and comes out, uh, of course, this week, as we record this, just this week was the uh, Apple WWDC, which no, is not a worldwide wrestling federation event. It's their development uh, conference where they show off new features and toys and software and all that. So lots of news breaking. If you haven't seen the What's New Wednesday uh, video, go check the blog and we'll tell you all about that later. But let's dig in and talk about how to make the iPhone easy on the eyes for you. So let's uh, jump over into the phone, shall we? Of course, all this is in settings, and that's our big, er, that's our big gear icon up there for settings. If you, um, you know, if you've been with us for any length of time, you know that so much of the stuff we do is in settings, and this is no exception. So, basically, it's all the things you can do to make your iPhone work best for you. So, in settings, make sure you're on the main settings page, and you always know that if you pull down on the screen, it'll have the big settings up at the top. Uh, for some reason, mine isn't showing my picture up there next to my name. I, d I don't know why, but go figure. It's Sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not. I haven't figured that one out yet. Scroll down to, and today we're going to be working in that area right there, display and brightness, okay? As my father used to say, you know, you can turn up the brightness on the television, but it doesn't get any smarter. <laughs> Hopefully not the case today. Display and brightness and tap on that. Now, this new feature here, this uh, light versus dark screen settings, just has been out, well, it's been out for probably a year since the last iPhone introduction, but if you've ever wondered why at night your phone looks like it's, you know, icons, oh, somebody tried to call me, look at that. If you ever wondered why your phone at night is uh, showing all black screen with, you know, light icons behind it, or instead of a white screen to read your email, it's a black screen with white lettering on it. This, this is why, and it's called dark mode, okay? And you can set it to work at specific hours. Uh, you can set it to have the phone choose when it does its thing, or you can also have it, you know, to just do it manually by yourself, as you can see with the dark and the light buttons there. So, for starters, manually adjusting it, right, is literally as easy as tapping on where it says dark or light. And if I tap on the dark, well, it goes to dark mode, which is black background with the white text on it. Now, it's going to look a little different, obviously, when you're on your home screen because dark mode, eh, not so important there, right? But if I were to go into something, oh, I don't know, like notes or whatever, look at all my notes there, you know, white text on black screen, and if I open up any of the individual notes, well, same thing, black text on white screen. So that's what dark mode looks like. Now, as we say in the gas mileage business, your results may vary, that some apps are going to look a little different than others. But usually with the built-in Apple apps, it's going to be exactly what you see, which is black, dark, black background with color screen and then white text on it okay and you can change this back and forth dark to light now typically my favorite word when teaching uh anything high tech typically with your iphone it's set you see there for automatic which means the phone is going to change from light to dark mode on its own without you doing anything at a certain time of day and when's it going to do that well i'm so glad you asked right underneath where it says automatic you can see that it says 
uh, sunlight to sunset, light to sunset, right? Sunrise to sunset or sunset to sunrise when it's in dark mode. So the phone knows because it has the weather app and it has all the connections that it has. The phone knows when the sun goes down and when the sun comes up where you live. And if you have it set for sunset to sunrise, well, it will do exactly that. When the sun goes down at night and you pick up your phone, it's going to automatically be in dark mode. And you're going to go, oh, look at that. It's doing its job. Now, by the way, why do you want to use dark mode? Well, because at night, obviously dark out there, not as much light, ambient light around. And your eyes are a lot more sensitive. I mean, if you've ever done that, if you've ever like stared at your iPhone screen for too long at night when it was bright white like that, you probably, you know, your eyes start to water and things get a little stingy and all that. So dark mode, way easier on the eyes, especially at night. Now, it's actually way easier on the eyes all the time. But if you're in a bright room, it's kind of hard to use dark mode during the day. You could if you want. You could leave it that way all the time. And the way that you would do that, by the way, is that switch right under the dark and the light where it says automatic, right? If I turn that off, notice I lose the setting underneath it for when the dark mode starts. So if I turn it off and it's in light mode like it is now, it's going to stay in light mode 24-7, okay? That's fine. Maybe that's what I need. Maybe I work in a bright place at night and I don't mind having the white background and all that. So, or you could leave it in dark mode 24 seven, totally up to you. Okay. For most people, they turn on the button that says automatic, and then they choose either the uh, automated built-in sunset to sunrise, or you can do the custom schedule, which means, I don't know if you're in some weird place or you need it to change to dark earlier, you could tap on custom schedule and then there you go. When is it going to be light and when is it going to start with dark? All right. So, you know, start with light appearance at 7 a.m. You can use the little rollers all you want to set it. All right. Maybe I don't want it to maybe I want it to change it to light because I get up early or something like that. Or or, you know, I can change the uh, when it goes to dark appearance. Maybe I want not to go to dark mode until 11 o'clock at night or something like that. You can set it. And one and as long as you have it set for that custom schedule there it will change from dark to light and light to dark when you specify. For me, I'm more about leaving it on sunset to sunrise. It just makes my life easier, right? So that's the options for dark mode and for when it changes to dark. Now, underneath it, let's scroll it up a little bit, right there where it says brightness, okay? <laughs> that's how bright the screen is going to um, appear to your eyes. Now, as I turn this down and up here, you unfortunately, you can't see it on the screen there because of the way, you know, the phone's hardwired in. But if I, well, here, let's try this. I'll put my finger on it here. If I scroll it, ah, you can barely, well, you can see that it's really bright. But if I scroll, see how it gets darker, brighter, darker, brighter. Okay. So I can actually change the brightness of the screen. And this is independent of dark mode versus light mode, okay? So now dark is dark and you can't make it any darker than it already is and you can't make it any brighter than dark. But when it's in light mode, you can make it a little less bright, okay? So if you're in a place that has plenty of light, you know, here in my little studio, I've got lights all around me and everything, all right? I may need it to be brighter so that I can read the screen with all the light. But if I'm in a, in a dark room or my office or my, where I work or whatever, normally the lights are subdued. All right, I might want to turn that down a little bit and have the screen a little bit you know, less bright, less shining in my face. And by the way, that'll save you some battery life too, by the way. The brighter the screen, the more battery life it takes to keep it that bright. So just keep that in mind. All right, and underneath it is True Tone. And True Tone, as it says, it tells you it has a little text down there. I'll read it. It says, automatically adapt iPhone display based on ambient lighting conditions to make colors appear consistent in different environments. That's a really fancy phrase and fancy scientific turn of a phrase to say it makes the colors look a little more natural. Okay, so for example, and again, I don't know if you can see it on the screen here, but if I turn off the true tone, let's see if it makes a difference. Yeah, no, you can't see it on the on the screen there. 
But if I turn off here, if I turn off, I don't know if it's going to work or not. If I turn, well, take my word for it. If you turn off the true tone and you have the screen brightness turned up, it's almost, if you've had it off for a while, your eyes get used to it. But if you turn it back on or you turn the true tone off so the screen's full bright, it almost looks blue-white, bluish, whitish. It's so bright that when you turn that off, it's like, oh boy, that's... That's really bright. That's really white. Okay. So again, most of the time, just like dark mode versus light mode, probably best to let the phone decide to do it. So I, I just leave True Tone turned on. I'll be honest with you. I leave True Tone turned on all the time. And that way I can still come in. By the way, the brightness slider, even when it's in True Tone, the brightness slider still works. And I can still use that to turn the phone up or down, make it brighter or less bright. By the way, if you are curious about that, uh, you have that setting from the control panel from the front of the screen. So if you have an iPhone, an older iPhone 8 like mine, remember I'm just swiping up from the bottom. If you have an iPhone 11, you're swiping, oop, you're swiping from the top down here, right? iPhone 7, 8, whatever, up from the bottom to grab the control panel er, and up from the, I'll get it. I'll get, I can't see what I'm doing. There we go, <laughs> up from the bottom. And iPhone 11 down, from, you know it. If you've got one, you know it. So, but that setting, that brightness setting is right there. It's the little sunshine right next to the volume slider, okay? So I can, I don't have to dig into settings if I want to get to brightness. I can do it right there. I can turn it up or down or up or down. And again, you can't see it on my display here. But as I do that, the screen in front of me is getting lighter or darker, okay? And so you can do it either from settings or you can do it right from the control panel there, and that might be helpful. Make it easy on your eyes, okay? So that's kind of it for uh, the display. Oh, there's one other thing with the night shift, okay? Night shift is a little different. Remember we talked about how if you're using um, the screen at full brightness, especially at night, it's actually, it, 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 it I'm not gonna say it hurts or it's damaging, but it's like it's in your face and it's like you're, you know, you're blinded by the light, as Bruce Springsteen once said. Um, so night shift is a way that, again, based on a schedule, you can either set it schedule or you can do it manually for yourself. It doesn't matter. OK, this is totally different from the brightness of the screen. This is actually the color. And I think the fancy word is temperature, but. If you know better, you can tell me. But I think it's color temperature, okay? And as you turn the color, see down at the bottom. Well, it even says color temperature, Bill. <sighs> I'm learning it too. As you turn this from more or less warm, and again, I apologize that you can't see it on my phone here, but from less warm, here, I'll just, I'll hold it up for you. Less warm, kind of a bright white screen. And it doesn't matter that you can't see the text. Don't worry. It's bright white. But if I scroll it over to more warm, look, it actually, and I don't know if you can see that or not, but it actually, on the screen, it actually makes the screen look almost a orangey yellow kind of a color. Okay. Now, why is that? Why is that important? Well, because at night, your eyes are used to seeing things in a more subdued uh, uh, a darker color palette. And if you put bright white light into your eyes at night, especially before bedtime, you've probably seen this particular thing on, on TV or you've heard your doctor talk about it or something like that, where they say no screens an hour before bedtime. Why is that? Well, it's because the white light going into your eyes, your brain sees that bright white light and it goes, oh, it's daytime, it's time to be awake. And that's why you lie in bed at night and can't sleep. <laughs> so if you're going to use your phone or your iPad late at night, and I'm just as guilty as everybody else, at least turn on the night shift function, all right? And you can set it to more or less warm, depending on, you know, what your eyes are used to or whatever. But believe me, you get used to it. And again, it only works during the scheduled time at night, but you do get used to your eyes will thank you. It, it's not as glaring and bright, and it's like you're not squinting when you look at it, okay? So, again, that's the night shift under, and all of this is under display and settings 
on your main settings page. If you go to settings and you scroll down, you scroll down, it's display and, uh, display and brightness right there. And that's where all of the settings are that we've talked about for today. All right, well, that's gonna do it for today. Uh, thank you for joining me. If you would like and would like the handout on this, and <laughs> I know, I've, I've said this a dozen times now, you know, I'm, I'm a teacher. And so uh, when I come to class, I always have a handout for people. Here's what we're learning today. Um, I haven't found a better name for it yet, so it's a handout. So if you would like the handout that will show you exactly how to do all the things we just talked about, head on over to the blog at BillSkladowski.com, and when you get there, there's a button on the front page that talks about get all the, get all the videos and get all the handouts and get all that stuff for free. So just click on that, and you will be redirected over to a page that looks like this, where it says exactly that. Get every tip sheet and get all the new videos for free. So every weekend, like if you were to sign up for uh, this today, and I'd encourage you to go over to the blog, if you sign up today, then um, Sunday you will get an email from me with a link to the videos from the past week, the iPhone Friday video, this one, the What's New Wednesday video that we did on Wednesday, and then a link to download and print out the handout as well. And it's all free, totally, you know, nothing. All you got to do is leave me an email address so I know where to send it. So again, jump over to the blog, over to BillSkladowski.com. I'll post that there, and uh, you can sign up for that. If you have questions or comments, as always, please feel free to leave them below. I read and respond to all of them personally. If you have a question, if there's something that you're trying to do on your iPhone and it's been driving you nuts trying to figure it out, We'll leave that in the comments, either on the blog, on Facebook, where you're watching now, or on YouTube, because these videos are posted on YouTube as well. And again, I read and respond to all those. And if it's a good question, well, then we'll turn it into our next either What's New Wednesday or iPhone Friday. Again, that's going to do it for today. Have yourself a great weekend. Stay safe out there. And uh, we'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.